It's been a while since we made a class tier list, and after the recent changes, I think this is a good time to do one. First of all, this is going to be a tier list for PvP. Since for PvE, all classes are pretty good, and if you don't care about PvP, just play with the class you enjoy the most. So I play this game with two accounts, one of them has 7.3k resonance, and the other one is around 3k. I do PvP activities with both of them, and this tier list is going to reflect my experience and opinions. I will mostly talk about Battlegrounds, since that's the main PvP thing in Diablo Immortal. By the way, I do care more about the impact on the team's success than individual stats, because getting pretty stats or MVPs does not translate to wins all the time. As you can see, we have our tier list ready to go, so let's start with the wizard. I think wizards have a pretty important role in Battlegrounds, with the rise of Crusaders and Barbarians, Wizards with AoE CC builds can be very important with any resonance. And I think that's kinda important. If a class only performs well with high resonance, it shouldn't be in the higher tiers. With that said, wizards using battle mage builds are pretty powerful too, but they are not that good with low resonance. I think we can put wizards into the A tier. Just like I said, a good CC wizard in your team is always a good thing, and wizards with higher resonance can deal a high amount of damage even after the recent changes. And next we have my old favorite class Monk. This class used to be so good, man I miss those days. They used to bully every backline class like Wizard, Necromancer and Demon Hunter, but nowadays not so much. You were able to carry games with a Monk back in the day, but now they are more like a role player. They can still deal burst damage and take down backline classes, but for example nowadays you have to kill Necromancers twice because of the borrowed time, and with all the damage reduction stuff, with the recent updates, monks are kind of held behind. At least that's what I see. You can still experiment with a full CC or kinda tanky builds, but a blood knight can do almost everything you can do with a monk. And they kinda have better iframe skills. On top of that, I always experience some sort of rubber banding issues when I play monk. Sometimes I can't even get out of the spawn point without getting teleported back, which makes everything a lot worse. I am thinking about putting Monk to the S tier, but at least they are still pretty good in vaults, and this used to be my favorite class, so I will put Monk close to the B tier. And next we have the Demon Hunter. Well, Demon Hunters deal damage, and that's all. Jokes aside, Demon Hunters are not that bad, even with low resonance, you can still melt stronger players than you, and if you have a good tank in your team, and if you know how to place yourself on the map, you should do really well. But to be honest, maybe only 10% of the demon hunters I see plays that way, most of them just rush in to get kills and they die. So this class might seem pretty easy to play, I mean almost all of the classes are pretty easy to play, but you kinda need to learn your role and play accordingly. If you can do that, you can do really well with demon hunter, even with low resonance. I think we should replace demon hunter right into B tier, but this can go way low depending on your playstyle and the team you get into. And now let's talk about the Barbarians. I would put this class right into the D tier without even explaining anything, but after the latest update this class became a little bit more important. Since now Blood Knights can't push or hold the idle when they are using their iframe skills, Sanguinate and Swarm of Bats, now only two classes are really good for doing that and one of them is the Barbarian. Other than that there is nothing new about Barbarians, they are still the same punching bags, don't get me wrong, that's a pretty important role, but most people find it kinda boring, since most of the time you get stuck in a CC chain until they kill you. But like I said, thanks to the Undying Rage skill, Barbarians are more important now, since they can wait on the objective until they die. Of course they are far away from those burning everyone with Sundered Legacy days, but I think we can put this class right next to the Demon Hunter and Monk in the B tier. And now we have one of my favorite classes, Necromancer. Do I even need to explain this class? This is the favorite class of free to play and low spenders, and at the same time, probably the most annoying class in the entire game. Necromancer has always been pretty good in PvP and they are still really good. I think removing the ability to push or hold the idols with raid form didn't really affect this class as much as Blood Knight since that's never been their main role in a team. I think we can put Necromancer right into the A tier, even a little bit closer to the S tier, since it can be played with any resonance. I'm not gonna talk much about Necromancer, I think we all know how good they are, right? And now we have my current favorite class, because I really enjoy playing as a support. As you can guess, I am talking about the Crusader. I think Crusader benefited the most from the latest update, 
since now Blood Knights can't push or hold the idle when they are using their iframe skills, I think Crusader is the best class to do that actually. But that's not all, they kinda fixed interruption issues with the short cast skills, which includes Holy Banner and Conjuration of Light. If you played as a Crusader, you should know how annoying that interruption feels. After the update, that's not an issue anymore. I mean, it still happens, but not that much. It's way better than before and it's actually playable now. When you think about all of this, Crusader now has a bigger role in Battlegrounds and they're always the must-have in Vaults and the new Shadow War system. So I will put Crusader right into the A tier, but a little bit closer to A+. The reason I'm not putting this class right next to Necromancer, it's not that good with low resonance. I mean, it's still really good, but you can tell the difference between low resonance and high resonance Crusader right away, since they take damage all the time. And finally we have the Blood Knight. Before the update this class was in the S tier right away, but now things have changed a little bit. I think they are still the most powerful class in the game, but their impact on getting wins in battlegrounds are significantly low now, but still way more than a monk or a demon hunter. So this is the third time I am saying this, but after the update Blood Knights can't push or hold the idol when they are using their iframe skills, Sanguinate and Swarm of Bats. That means their role has changed, now they kinda play like monks from a few months ago, I guess we can call it something like that. So anyways, they are still really strong and that's why I will put them into the A plus tier. And as you can see our tier list is complete, I think we don't have a straight up S tier class right now, which is good because this means we have some sort of balance. Of course it's not perfect by any means, but I think the current meta we have is pretty acceptable. Sundered Legacy Barbarians, Shimmerly Monks and Unlimited Knockback Demon Hunters were way worse than the current state of the game, in my opinion. Right now I think Monks, Demon Hunters and Barbarians deserve some good essences that would make these classes interesting again. Of course these are all my opinions and you might not agree at all, but let me know about your tier list in the comment section so we can discuss together. That's all for this one, take care.